Hey, ladies and dudes. I got a very unknown question to ask you. Do you think that Ray Fiennes would have been a much better choice to play Alfred for Batman vs. Superman, The Dawn of Justice, instead of uh, Jeremy Irons? Because I think Ray Fiennes had something that Jeremy Irons doesn't have. It's a really good, unique voice where he could play a nice, appropriate Alfred who could be a great father figure to Bruce Wayne and Batman. Well, if you guys get the story. <sighs> well, anyway. Hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, a.k.a. Boopop1987. This is my review for a day. And today I will let you know is, ladies and dudes, we are finally here at Season 6. And I can't believe it. We made it to six seasons of movie reviews. And I did a whole lot of movie reviews for the last five seasons. And to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I'm going to let you know right now. Um, I did make a mistake about my movie review numbers. And I do apologize for that. Um, I just want to let you know right now, we, we have a total of 91 movie reviews and not 90, and I'm very, I'm sorry I made that terrible mistake, if you know what I mean. But, um, well, well, after all, the past is the past, and it's time to move on to my brand new movie review number 92, and I'm so sorry it took so long, but I'll show you my two, well, my two tickets anyway. Here it is. So for my next movie review is the Lego Batman movie, and I'm sure this is the most important movie review that everybody has been waiting for. Well, to tell you the truth is, the reason why I haven't done it last week is because I got really, really sick. I just had a really bad cold and I did not make it to see my movie in time because of my uh, my stuffy nose and my sniffleness, if you know what I mean. But finally, at long last, it's here. So let's get going on my movie review number 92 of the Lego Batman movie. And um, I just don't have much things to say about the main plot of the story. Well, we already know about Batman. It's easy and simple. He has to go on missions here or there to stop some evil bad guys who's destroying Gotham City and all that stuff. And he needs to take care of some proper life of becoming a normal man and try to create his own family. Something that Alfred had really wanted him to do since the time when he lost his parents. When he was a little kid. And, um... And Batman is just 50% sure what kind of life does he want to do. Does he want to continue on, you know, fighting crime and face so many bad guys? Or try to find a way to create a family of his own? Something that he had never had for so many years and all that stuff. And there's going to be a whole lot of jokes and weirdo stuff going on in the Lego Batman movie. So that's all I could say about the main plot of the story. And I guess everybody wants to know is, what the heck do I think about the Lego Batman movie? Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I really do enjoy this movie. But I think I like the Lego movie way better in my own opinion. But anyway, it's still a good movie to watch. Um, I do like the storyline for the most part. The characters are likable. The animation is pretty darn cool. Um, I really love the action scenes. I love the drama. The score is pretty good. And I do like some, a couple of hidden Easter eggs that happen in this movie. But sometimes this movie can drag here and there and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I also like the voice cast as well. I think they did a pretty good job of picking which actor or actress who could 
play our beloved characters very, very well, even if we did not see them much in a short period of time, if you know what I mean. So anyway, let's head on to my strongest points and the weakest points of the Lego Batman movie. I will say for the strongest points for this movie, I will have to say it has to go to Ray Fiennes as Alfred. I think Ray Fiennes did a fantastic job of playing a very good Alfred. I think Warner Brothers should have chose him instead of Jeremy Irons for uh, Batman vs. Superman, The Dawn of Justice. If this movie would have done a whole lot better if those people should have chose which actor or actress who could play the characters in a live action film. And I think Ray Fiennes, I think he would have been a much better choice because I think he had a perfect tone and a perfect style of Alfred's voice. You know, he needs to sound British. He needs to have a perfect tone for the character. And I think Ray Fiennes did it so well and this is the reason why Ray Fiennes deserves to be one of the best legendary actors of all time. He could play so many characters that he wanted to play I guess but no matter what my most favorite uh, performance that he ever did is uh, Ramesses from the Prince of Egypt and that will always be one of my favorite performances that he had ever did. And I know it's a weird shame he did not reprise his role, role as Voldemort from the Harry Potter saga. I wonder what will happen if he did reprise his role for a Lego Batman movie. I think that would have been awesome, but a sad shame, no. So I will say for my strongest points for this movie, it has to go to Ray Fine's performance as Alfred. As for the weakest points of the movie, I think this movie does drag a little bit. In the film, there are some dragging moments that's kind of boring and not interested. Um, and I think, I think the uh, Justice League scene was kind of wasted. You know, it's kind of boring and not so interested. I know it's a good thing to see our superheroes again. That's one good point. But he, there are some dragging moments here and there, and I'm waiting for something interesting to happen in this movie. If you guys get the picture. So I will say the dragging moments is truly the weakest point of the movie for me. Um, I will say yeah the Lego movie is way better than this movie. But still it's a pretty good film overall. And now let's go on to the characters of the movie. I will go with the two characters that I remember the most in this film. One is Will Arnett playing Batman. And Ray Fiennes as Alfred. Um, I will say for Will Arnett as Batman, I think he did a fantastic job playing a great main protagonist in a really cool Lego movie. Oh, I really love that cute little, uh, Lego Batman. He's so darn cute and adorable. He's a, a really cool bad A-word dude. Um... I really love his storyline, his personality, his attitude. He's such a cool character. And I know he's taking things very seriously about, you know, trying to take care of Gotham City, take care of all those bad guys as soon as he can, and, um, and keep Gotham City safe from harm. And I will say for Will Arnett as Batman, he's, tell you the truth, is he's the only Batman actor that we got so far for the 21st century and he's the only good Batman actor that we got much better than that idiot Ben Affleck because yeah Ben Affleck he sucks big time <laughs> go away you stupid Ben Affleck you suck as Batman let's keep Will Arnett for right now he's the only good Batman dude that we got until we can find a way we can find a, a much better actor somewhere who could play a much better Batman for the live action version, if you know what I mean. So go away, Ben Affleck! And let's keep Will Arnett as our favorite Lego Batman. After all, he's so darn adorable and cute and truly a bad A-word character indeed. 
So yeah, Will Arnett, great Batman overall. And you already know me about Ray Fiennes as Alfred. I will say Ray Fiennes did a fantastic job of playing a very good Alfred. He's definitely one of the best Alfreds that we got so far from all the Batman franchises. Um, I really like his personality. I really love his attitude. He's such a kind and caring butler. This man is truly the main heart for this movie, in my own opinion. And Alfred is truly one of the best characters ever for this uh, Lego Batman movie history, I guess. Well, yeah, you know me. So yeah, this is Ray Fiennes' best character, best performance, and his best role so far in his own career. And I sure hope and pray if those Warner Brother Company can think about which actor who could play Alfred much better than Jeremy Irons did, I think they should have picked Ray Fiennes. Because I think this is the true actor that they should have looked for uh, before they should have done the, uh, you know, Batman versus Superman of Dawn of Justice, if you guys get the picture. So yeah, I have nothing else to say. So Ray Fiennes, great Alfred so far, along with those other two dudes who did their greatest jobs as their Alfred. The one from Tim Burton slash Schumacher's films, and the one who did from Christopher Nolan. So we got three great actors who did a great job as their Alfreds. And I'm not sure which one will be number one. But I love them as equal in so many rights, if you know what I mean. So anyway, ladies and dudes, here we go. My final thoughts of the, uh, the Lego Batman movie. Overall, the Lego Batman movie is a pretty good film, but I think the Lego movie is ten times better in my own opinion. I will say the storyline is good, the characters are likable, great voice acting, great score, great animation, uh, great semi and sometimes this movie can drag, sometimes, but, oh yeah, it has good action as well. And it's a good animated film so far in the year of 2017. So for my rating for this movie, I decided to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Please check out this movie to believe it. If you guys still believe in our favorite Dark Knight dude, who is such a bad A-word character, if you know what I mean. So anyway, ladies and dudes, that's my whole entire movie review of the Lego Batman movie. This will be my most hardest movie review that I did so far for season six. And there will be more movie reviews to come in the later on future. And sadly, ladies and dudes, be prepared for my next movie review to come. As we're going to say, sayonara. To our beloved Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart to play our beloved characters from the X-Men saga. As we head on to a very sad, bittersweet goodbye movie called Logan. And it's going to break our hearts. It's going to be a, one of the most bittersweet goodbyes ever in movie history. So, be prepared for that movie review to come. And I'll see you all later. Sayonara.